Now I would like to give you an introduction to the MEL repository. To understand the use cases of the MEL repository, I would like to first answer the question why we've built the MEL repository. In the past, we had to embed all MEL coding required by a movelet inside our ABAP code. This means inside the classes of the business step implementation. Using this approach, it was hard to share MEL coding across business steps and it was hard to encapsulate MEL code into functions. Additionally, the MEL code got added over and over to the movelet during the movelet generation. The MEL repository overcomes these downsides and has the following advantages. It treats MEL scripts as real development objects. This means you can transport them and provide documentation. It has a text editor that supports syntax checking and MEL script formatting to provide a better readability of the MEL code. The functions defined in the MEL repository could be integrated into the business steps and the framework then manages the sending and the update of the functions during the movelet generation. This means the functions defined in the MEL repository are always sent out once and not with each movelet generation until you change the source code of the function in the MEL repository. Before I now show you the MEL repository, I would like to outline our demo scenario. The use case is to implement a custom MEL function to do a time conversion in MEL because this is a feature that is required in several business processes. For example, here we have a simplified notification and a simplified order processing process. The corresponding movelet simply show the notification number for the notification and the create date and time as it is in the SAP system, but also in a also the time converted to the local time zone of the client. This time conversion, this time zone conversion is performed in MEL. And the same applies for the order processing. We have the order number, the create date and time in SAP and the create date and time in the client's time zone. The corresponding MEL code to do that is currently embedded into the step classes, as you can see here. And in each of the step classes, more or less the same MEL code is included. Now I will show you how to use the MEL repository to avoid this redundancy and to nicely encapsulate this coding in a custom MEL function. To use the MEL repository, you open the transaction movie mail repository. Then on the left hand side you see a list of application areas. You choose the application area your custom function you would like to implement belongs to. Then you create a mail module. A mail, mail module corresponds or is similar to a function group in SAP. So it's used to logically group functions that belong to the same context or to the same area. Below your MEL module, you can add a MEL function. Now you see the MEL function editor, which offers the source code 
check and the formatting. To speed up the development I've prepared a code snippet. As you can see the prepared code snippet already reuses other functions that are defined in the mail repository. The syntax check notifies you if you have typos in your function code. We'll add the parameters. Here you can provide documentation. So now as we have entered a function name, the source code, we have to finally activate our MEL module before we are ready to use it. The next step is to use our newly created MEL function module inside a business step. To do so we go back to our step class. The Mobilizer Business Process step interface has a new, a new method called getMail modules. Here we return all mail module IDs that we require on the client for this specific movement. Now we can use the function inside our code. So we can replace the previous implementation by a call to our newly defined mail function. Now once we have changed the code, we can go back to the scenario configurator and send out the movelet again. Now the Movelizer application framework detects that the mail function modules are required, generates a corresponding movelet for them and sends it out to my client as well. This way the mail function reads my client and can be used in the newly generated movelet. Now again the time conversion still works as before 
but we now have a cleaner approach to manage our MEL code and we also reduce the size of our movelet we create because the code is much more smaller and cleaner.